Check, check. Are we on? Let's get it. All right. <clears throat> this is how it all began. One night, Mark comes home and he says, Shannon, I feel like the Lord just spoke to me and he said, we should start an organization ourselves and we shouldn't wait around and wait for the right timing and came home and told me he had this idea of Ride Nature. He said, we should just share the gospel with kids all over the world and be able to give out surfboards and skateboards. I was just like, okay, what does this mean? What are, are we quitting our jobs? Are we just jumping in? What is this gonna look like? Really, it started as a dream. And in my mind at the time, I was like, man, this would be the absolute dream job to, to get to travel the world and bring surfboards and skateboards to kids and, and to get to share the gospel with them. It seemed like, you know, like I'd hit the jackpot. We knew we wanted to do mission trips with Right Nature and we started talking to some people at our church that had lived in Nicaragua. And they said, you know, there's a lot of action sports down there. Kids love to surf, they love to skate. And we just decided, hey, let's go to San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua for our first trip and we'll see what's down there. We'll just see how it goes. And so we just worked for the next few months on raising money and getting donations and buying as many skateboards and as many Bibles and as many surfboards as we could. I heard what he was trying to pull together with Right Nature and it was kind of a cool thing and it kind of clicked with me that yeah this is something that I could immediately make an impact. Let's go guys, let's get down to Nicaragua. The only way that we're going to get this going is to go do it. So we need, we got to get a group together and let's get as much stuff as we can through the community, whatever you have, friends have whatever and let's bring it down and let's just see where it goes. My brother Mark was going to be the leader of this trip. I had a little bit more hesitation to think like, do you really know what you're doing? I'd never been a part of a trip that used action sports for ministry. It still just was something that I wanted to be a part of. And we just packed up with a group of about eight people and went on a plane and um, headed down to San Juan. I knew it was gonna be an adventure and I knew that our mission was good you know, to share action sports, but more importantly, to share Jesus with this group of people that we were going to encounter in Nicaragua. So when Mark came to me with this idea of Right Nature and using action sports to share the gospel, you know, we just jumped in and we just did it. And we didn't really know what to expect. We didn't know what was gonna come next. We didn't know what every step was gonna look like. We jump on this trip down to Nicaragua, having no idea what to expect, just realizing that, man, if we show up with a lot of boards, we have this amazing opportunity to share with people and be there with the goal of, yeah, we surfed and we had an amazing time, but to be there with the goal of giving back, like that's what was our agenda. And through the gift of generosity, being able to share the greatest gift that we've ever received, um, which is salvation. In May of 2010, with just a vision and some prayers, we assembled a group of friends and set out on a trip that would ultimately pave the way for the future of Ride Nature. It was the vision to use skateboarding and surfing as a tool for ministry. We ventured out into the unknown on the very first Ride Nature mission trip to San Juan del Sur. Chris was one of the guys who was traveling with us and he had spent several months in this little surf town situated several hours south of Managua. The tourism was very cyclical, very spotty. Unless you were in one of the bigger cities, they were very well cut off from any help. And it's very obvious that these kids just didn't have anything. Uh, the only items that they had was left over from travelers past, including myself. You know, when you, when you go down there and break a board, you hand it off to one of the local kids when you come out of the water. And that's all they have. So for us to come down there and bring them new items, along with the message, it's pretty awesome. San Juan is famous for multiple surf breaks and offshore winds pretty much all year long. But inside this quaint little fishing community existed a need that was sadly going unnoticed. While thousands of surfers were coming to visit Nicaragua each year to surf, 
the majority of the local kids were left just watching from the edge of the water. But this was the very thing that ignited a flame and passion for the work that we are leading. It was on this first trip that we met Anders. La vida aquí en Nicaragua este, nunca ha sido muy fácil que digamos. Hubo un, una chance de crecer, crecer supuestamente en el mundo de las drogas, tratando de encontrar algo de que nos rellenara adentro, ¿sabes? Como que dos de mis amigos eh, en uno de los operativos en los cuales realizamos fueron arrestados. Vi el sufrimiento de mis amigos en la cárcel. Supe de que en ese momento de esa no era la manera, ¿entiendes? Entonces... Eh, conociendo a Ryan Nature, me sorprendió de la manera tan original que fueron. Llegar los chicos por medio de un deporte y tal vez el niño es forzado y lo encuentra como que aburrido, como que ir a la iglesia todos los domingos y no nace de tu corazón, eh, ya sea surfing, ya sea skate. Esa manera me sorprendió y fui yo y un amigo y un, un par de chicos más que estaban en el agua. Las olas estaban gigantes, acerca de 8 o 10 pies. Y ya como siempre, traté de impresionar a, a mis amigos y dije, oh, voy a ir por la primera ola. No sabiendo de que at atrás iban dos, tres olas más grandes. Entonces el set era tan grande que la espuma era demasiado fuerte de que hacer el, eh, el dog dive no servía para nada. Resulta de que fui atrapado por la ola, entonces empecé a ahogarme y nunca supe. A ese punto todo el cuerpo se me puso muy suave. Emergí del agua como Superman y no sé de dónde vino toda esa fuerza y, y desde ahí um, empezaron a sacarme todas esas olas hacia afuera y Ese fue el punto de que supe de que había una fuerza extraordinaria ayudándome al lado siempre. Incluso aunque fui malo, siempre estaba ahí a la par protegiéndome. Pues ahí supe de que something was real. Y sí, a partir de ahí eh, todo ha cambiado para mí. Thinking back to, wow, that was almost 10 years ago, and we've had the chance to travel to 27 countries now and get to, to visit all these different communities and to get to return back to Nicaragua over and over has been such an amazing thing to see the fruit that has come from that very first trip. And looking back from, from 10 years till now, it doesn't look a whole lot different. I mean, the, the trips might be a little more structured and there might be a little more planning and, and the relationships we have with the people in the countries might be a little more established, but the trips are really all about just getting to go in, be generous, share the gospel, and, and show people what it looks like to be loved.
especialmente refugiado en, en el Señor, es lo mejor que me ha pasado. Hombre. Pienso que la tranquilidad, la paz que tengo ahora, eh, dejé de hacer drogas. Sí, he estado eh, sobrio en sobriedad por más de ocho meses ahora y desde el día de que casi me ahogo, el que me levantó fue Jesucristo, entonces, sí, man. Witnessing the impact and hearing the stories and testimonies from individuals such as Anders has definitely affirmed that the mission of Right Nature is just as needed as it ever has been. The hope of blessing kids around the world with the gift of a free board and being able to use that as a tool to share the gift of salvation found in Jesus. As our network of leaders and contacts in Latin America have grown far beyond our ability to fully invest into those relationships, we are so excited to share that in 2020, almost exactly 10 years from the day that we first led the trip to Nicaragua, that we'll be returning once again to the same city, but this time, long term. There's a real need for the body of Christ to be built up, for disciples to be made here in San Juan del Sur, with a long-term vision of really planting a church in this community. Everything we do through Ride Nature with surfing and skating and skimboarding is really only a means to bring the gospel to the people of this world. And really that's what this trip is about for me, is to really continue to pray about us moving here full-time to represent Ride Nature Latin America right here in San Juan del Sur. Early next year, it's our plan to send six staff to San Juan to launch the first international mission base for the organization. This facility will be a hub to oversee all of the outreach we are leading in Central and South America. We've traveled to a lot of places over the last 10 years. We've led more trips and given away more boards than we ever dreamed we would. And the impact has far exceeded anything we ever imagined. But this is far from the end. It's really just the beginning. <laughs>